Hi everyone, Blauk here, back for another episode of Earthbound, where last episode we had taken on, well, we made it to uh, Saturn Valley, explored it, and take, took on Belch. And this episode, well, I think this episode we deserve a little break. Let us uh, go into Hot Springs, rest here. You got in and washed all of the extremely dirty gunk off your body. That hot spring seems really interesting. For one, as you can see, Ness is no longer homesick. It cures homesickness, which is really, really cool. <clears throat> and, uh... Yeah, it's really, uh, really cool. Drink coffee before go. Say yes to me. Yeah, sure. Bottoms up. Boing! You've traveled very far from home. Do you remember how long and winding journey began with someone pounding at your door? It was Pokey, the worst person in your neighborhood, who knocked on the door that fateful night. On your way, you've walked, thought, and fought. Yet, through all of this, you have never lost your courage. You have grown steadily stronger, though you have experienced the pain of battle many times. You are no longer alone in your adventure. Paula, who is steadfast, kind, and even pretty, is always by your side. Jeff is with you as well. Though he is timid, he came from a distant land to help you. Ness, as you certainly know by now, you are not a regular young man. You have an awesome destiny to fulfill. The journey from this point will be long, and it will be more difficult than anything you have undergone to this point. Yet, I know you will be alright. When good battles evil, which side do you believe wins? Do you have faith that good is, tr is triumphant? One thing you must never lose is courage. If you believe in the goal you are striving for, you will be courageous. There are many difficult times ahead, but you must keep your sense of humor, work through tough situations, and enjoy yourself. When you have finished this cup of coffee, your adventure will begin again. Next. You must pass, pass through a vast desert and proceed to the big city of Foreside. Ness. Paula. Jeff. I wish you luck. Whoa, that was some coffee. Uh, yeah, that's a... <laughs> Thank you, Picture Man. Uh, that's a very, uh, nice thing. Not a lot of games do it, but I'm... I love that Earthbound and, you know, Mother 3 has it as well. This little recap where it's just an inspirational quotes and... It's really nice with really soft, relaxing music and a really, really cool battle background to go. 
Sweet, fresh feel. Yeah. Home, whole milky well. What this ding ding. So, at this point, if you don't want to go do the Milky Well, the Milky Well is the next sanctuary location, this is one of those times where you can actually leave. You can leave it till later. You can, as you can see, this ladder is here now. Appreciate. I so happy, happy, happy. Zoom. You can just walk right on past into the cave and out you go. I, however... We'll be doing the Milky Well now. Later on, I'll show you what happens if you leave the Milky Well for later. It creates an interesting moment. Just like how these guys are interesting. You encountered the Ranboob and its co co cohort. The Ranboob. Ranboob A, Ranboob B. Besides just having a funny name, they have three attacks and we miss. Apparently it has high evasion. It has three attacks. It has a basic bash attack. A shield. Shield alpha. And it also has... Sprinkle wonderful smelling powder, which puts one of your party members to sleep. Um... This is actually one of the parts of the game that I'll admit... These guys can be a bit of a difficulty spike. If you did not grind out on foppies, or uh, fobbies, whatever one it was, in Belch's base, you might have some issues. They're not easy opponents to take care of. And truthfully, don't actually give that much XP. They give good XP. Okay, this, this is going to be a strong battle. We also have the evil, the Stretton Evil Mushroom and the Tough Mobile Sprout. You might be thinking, hmm, haven't we already faced these foes before? You are sort of right, but sort of wrong. We have faced these foes before, and they're pretty much the same. Besides the fact that I shouldn't have used PSI Rock and... Well, it's gonna be dead. But they, uh, they're a little more souped up now. Before they had about 80 health or so. Uh, now they have about 150 and do a little more damage, but have very similar attacks. The evil Stretton Mushroom, or the Stretton Evil Mushroom, deals low damage to a party member and can be absent minded. And I believe it can spread its spores, which will. Uh, make you mashermize. The tough mobile sprout has four attacks as well. It has a basic bash attack, but also has uh, sow its seeds, which summons another party member, PSI magnet, and life up alpha. Some pretty powerful attacks. These are the only enemies for the area, so it's pretty easy if uh, if you're leveled up enough to take care of them. Um, oh, I even got a back attack. Jeff got a little lower there than I would have hoped. Well, isn't that fun? Right before getting it to the cave, Ness got homesickness again. This is the part of the game where you have the largest chance of becoming homesick. And gosh, is it ever, like, really ramping that up. Oh, gosh. Um, so I believe... Yep, nope, we're not, not dealing with that. I just want to see if I get lucky. I don't know. Uh, if you're wondering and you really want to grind out, there is a decent chance that a magical butterfly 
can spawn just like that. They spawn pretty often. Not like the guaranteed that was in Belch's base and also elsewhere. Uh, I'd also kind of recommend... So it's kind of weird for, a, for the strategy for coming over here. What I really recommend you do is spend a lot of time going in and out of... What to call it? Uh, go in and out of this place until uh, the enemies despawn. You do not want to be mashermized for this fight. It is not fun to do without that. You finally got here. This is the third, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. This is the Trillionage Sprout. Pretty classic. Well, I say classic. The music's classic, at least. Just like a lot of them, your best friend will be for this fight. Uh, if, well, if I had a bottle rocket, it would be a bottle rocket. Your best friend will also be PSI Fire Alpha. Or, uh, Beta. Chilling Edge Sprout has five separate attacks and has just over a thousand HP. Not the strongest foe ever, but not weak by any means. I forgot about the psychic shield. Might need to uh, wait for it to wear off. But the Trillionage Sprout has a lot of different attacks. Well, it has five different attacks, and one of them is just outright scary. The, Trilli the Trillionage Sprout has a basic bash attack, which is just a basic low-level attack. He also has PSI Shield Alpha, which will nullify the effects of PSI, as we've kind of come to see. And he became Tain with pretty much nothing happening. Also has Paralysis, and also has PSI Flash Alpha, which causes uncontrollable crying or feeling strange for all party members. Which is not a fun attack to have to go against. But there's one other attack. The Trillionage Sprout has glare with its eerie eyes. This will diamondize one of your party members. We haven't faced against diamondization yet. I briefly spoke about it earlier. But diamondization will completely incapacitate one of your party members. They will be useless. It will be as if they are dead. Diamondization is, in my opinion, the worst status ailment that you can get in the game. Diamondization is not fun. There's very few enemies in the game that can actually afflict it, and the Trillionage Sprout is one of them. It's unlikely, but it can. Ness thought he heard his mother from far away. She said, be thoughtful, strong boy. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Milky Well. Very, very nice area. The Milky Well is a really nice place. I'm I'm a pretty big fan of the Trillionage Sprout. The Trillionage Sprout is fun. Um, I'm not as big of a fan as the, the area leading up to it. This little walkway area kind of sucks. Oh, there... <laughs> There's all the magic gold butterflies. Wow. Also, I find it funny because uh, going to that place also, um, going to a Your Sanctuary location will also uh, heal status ailments. So Ness was homesick and then immediately became not homesick. 
Also, if you wanted to now, all of these guys in the area are running away from you. So if you want to grind out more, magical butterflies are common spawns. Back in Saturn Valley. We can head back down and through here. So at this point, uh, we can go back to Threed and continue on. I don't really want to do that this episode. You wait three minutes, zoom, you came here, wait three minutes, no. Uh, here is present. I hand you a cup of life noodles. You have no room, by later, of course. Um... I don't know. There you go, eat the burger. Present. You get the Mr. Saturn coin. The Mr. Saturn coin is really good. Wait, was that the coin of slumber? I don't know. I I need to pick some stuff up. My uh, my inventory is real full. Because I think he still has more stuff to give to me. I can at least skip sandwiches. Like, I don't... There we go. I'll... A stag beetle. He has no more anything. And, uh, man, the skip sandwiches are real nice. Uh, I'm going to have Escargo Express pick up some stuff for me and help clear this inventory. So I'll be right back. All right. So what I'm going to be doing is we got the Coin of Slumber and the Mr. Saturn coin. I'm going to be giving the Mr. Saturn coin to Paula. And we're going to... Equip it. You can see, 51 defense up to 73. A ginormous difference. And the coin of summer from 50 up to 65. And then I guess I don't have any use for the red ribbon anymore. So we're gonna get rid of that. And uh, Jeff just had the hard hat on, so we're gonna drop that as well. So at this point, we can just make the long trek back to uh, three. So I'll see you all in a minute. There is no way. I didn't know this until right now. I just killed a violent roach and got the 1 in 128 secret herb drop. I actually got a 120, 1 in 128. It was like one of the worst ones I could have gotten, but I actually got a 1 in 128. There is no way. God, I don't want to deal with them. That is freaking insane. The 1 in 128. I, like, I forgot because I, I haven't, you know, I spoke about that, you know, a few episodes ago, so I didn't really think about it. But I actually got the one in 128. Oh my god. Hollow realized the power of PSI Freeze Gamma. That is going to be a nice attack for us to have. Wow, I'm getting everything today, holy crap. I felt like using it, and it did 500 damage. 500! Holy crap. Upon getting back to Threed, you can see it's very pleasant. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Threed. Thanks. Peace. Love. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? Since the leaders of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The buses can get through now. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Threed sometime? I'm sure we'll come back eventually. Alrighty. I like that guy. Alrighty. 
So, everyone's out and about. I want to go through the desert into the big city. I want to see the city. I want to smell like the big city. I'm, I'm a real urban type guy. Thank you. Sweet. You were heroes. That rocks. It's so pleasant to be able to sit here and be able to do that. This town used to be dark, but thanks to you, it's bright. I'm not going to do much, but we do have the circus tent and another picture in front of said circus tent. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And there's the zombies in here now. Can you talk? You're the enemy of all zombies. You monster. The monsters are no longer in the tunnel. That fly ob- That round flying object. A kid with glasses was on board. The craft landed in the graveyard, right? Can you fix it? Yes. It was heavily damaged though, right? I don't know. Maybe given some time, we can fix it. I, for one, right now, have one thing I would like to check out. I'll be back in just a minute. Coming all the way back to Onet. I think I decided I wanted to be a homeowner. $7,500 with a sunset that's beautiful and right on the water. Who would love to buy it? It's all ours now. Let us check out our home. It's destroyed. Maybe we should have actually checked around first. Pretty safe fuzzy pickles. We can't even sleep in the bed. Yep, that was definitely worth all the money. A house in such good condition can't be that cheap. Yeah, I guess he was right. Anyway, that'll be it for today's episode. Next time on Earthbound, we're going to... Well, we're going to explore... And, well, probably head up towards the desert like they were telling us to. So, that'll be next episode. But... I will see you all then.